What's up guys, Kids of Kicks here and welcome back to another episode of this Crystal Palace FIFA 16 career mode. Now as you know, there is only about 10 games left of the, uh, the Premier League season. It's really coming to the final stages now. This is where I need you guys to get involved and really help me out. We're going to be making a short list of all the players that we might potentially bring in next season. So in the comments down below, drop your suggestions. Let me know any good players, any bargains, any players that you think we should bring in on loan. And also any players that you want to see us let go as well. Because obviously we're going to be shuffling the squad around a little bit. But jumping into Premier League action now, you can see we're off to the Stadium of Light to take on Sunderland. New manager in real life and Sam Allardyce of course. But two of our former players, Scott Dan and Marouane Shamak, are going to be lining up against us here. So this should be an interesting one. Patrick Bamford, after his last, uh, after grabbing a goal in the last episode, he's going to get another run out up front. Um, other than that, it's a, a fairly strong squad, but fixtures um, congestion starting to slow down now. We've been through that busy Christmas period. We've come out the other side of it. We're still up there. Obviously, our chances of getting a European place seems to be fading just a little bit. So we're looking to get the win here that we need to propel us right back up into contention. But it's been a very even opening uh, 30 minutes or so, as you can see. Lens is the man causing most of the problems, somehow managing to force Butland into a save and getting around four or five defenders there. But we win the ball back, it's Kabai, former Newcastle man of course, and so not loved very much by these Sunderland fans. But he wins the ball, Deli Ali has a crack from around 35 yards, easy save for Pantillamon. And then a, a combination of errors really from Zuma and Eric Dyer. they didn't clear the ball at all, two poor poor efforts to get the ball away, forces Jack Butland to make a stunning save to deny Toivonen, really was heading into that top corner but Butland gets there with his fingertips to divert it around the post but Patrick Bamford um, couldn't really get involved in this game so Berahino who scored recently of course um, is going to come on and have the chance to have a big influence for us, we're hoping that the goal he scored recently will kickstart his form as like we say many times it hasn't really kicked off here for him at Palace. Then you saw another good save from Butland to deny Toivonen and again another effort from distance from him. Certainly was heading goal bound but Berahino working really hard. The challenge comes in from Patrick Van Arnholt. Looked to be a good challenge. The referee gave us a free kick and due to the position we decided to let the left foot of Kennedy whip this one in see if he can cause Pantillamon some problems. He certainly got the whip but didn't quite get the height right. It goes over the bar. Not a problem at all for the keeper but just two minutes left. Berahino working hard to win us possession back. He's uh, driving towards goal, very direct, which is good to see. He's brought down, referee gives another free kick, and with the deep into stoppage time now as we are, this would be the last opportunity. It's going to be the man himself, Berahino, to take it. 33 yards out, smashes the ball goalwards. It's a good save from Tantillamon, comes off the post, and just like we did in the last game, we've come within centimetres of getting the win, only denied by the woodwork. So it's another draw that has definitely been our downfall this season, something we're definitely going to look to improve next year. But we go into some training, focusing mainly on the younger players that get some good first team opportunities. And you can see that McCarthy working hard has got a C, which is enough to bump his rating up. So he's gone up one overall, he's now 76 rated. Um, even though he hasn't played a lot since the arrival of Butland, he was uh, very good in the opening uh, opening half of the season. So we're going to give him another chance here to impress, working hard in training, something that he should be rewarded for. He's going to get the opportunity to start here at the Berlin ground as we take on West Ham or Upton Park as it's probably better known. Some good players in this West Ham side, of course Paye in a great run of form. You've got Alex Song in there as well. But as you can see there's McCarthy in the sticks. Um, Joe Ledley coming into midfield. You've got Zaha and Balassi out wide. Sinkraven and Vardy up top. Jamie Vardy coming back in. He's been by far our best performing striker in terms of goals this season. So looking to get back to winning ways then. Joe Ledley finds Balassi as the effort first time. Kind of flashes across goal, doesn't cause the uh, Randolph in goal any problems whatsoever. But we continue to come forward and this effort from Sinkraven does force the keeper into action. I probably could have taken it a little bit nearer. I didn't quite realise how much time I had. But I decided to take the shot and Randolph pulled off a decent save. But West Ham coming forward just after half hour. Suarez beaten to the header at the back stick. It's a stunning first save from McCarthy, but the rebound um, from Enna Valencia and we are punished. Um, Suarez, not only was he beaten to the header, he was also beaten to the rebound, which is really disappointing to see. He's had some shaky moments this season. If you remember against Harry Kane at Tottenham, he was just not aware that Kane was behind him and he managed to head in an equaliser and he's cost us again here. But it's only half time, of course. We are one down. It's still anybody's game just a positive second half performance and we can definitely get something maybe even a win out of this game we have a corner here we decided to take it short to Saha he's uh, gonna use a little bit of trickery goes on his left foot 
and plays the ball back to Joe Ledley who unleashes a shot from around 20 yards. It's a good save again from Randolph that looks to be arrowing into that bottom corner. But again we come forward, here's Kabai testing Randolph from distance. Fairly comfortable save, never really got hold of the shot. But West Ham showing they're not just here to defend, it's Lanzini playing the ball into uh, Kuyate. Fantastic first save again from uh, McCarthy and this time the rebound was slashed wide. A little bit more composure and we would definitely have found ourselves two down. But Saha puts the ball on a plate here for Jamie Vardy. Looks to be a tap in. Uh, the ball comes back off the woodwork once more and doesn't find the back of the net. Upon looking at the slow motion replay, Vardy done everything right. It's just an outstretched toe from uh, James Collins. Really committed defending that denied us from getting back on level terms. But we decide to bring on Munir and Dwight Gale, hoping that their pace um, could create something for us. 36 yards out, then we've got a free kick. It's going to be Kabai to hit it. Randolph spills it, can't hold it. It's cleared away, fortunately, for West Ham. And we're moving now into the sort of the last 10 minute mark of the game. It's Enna Valencia cuts inside his man, has the shot from distance that is sailing over. Not a problem at all. But moving into the last two minutes now, West Ham going to get another opportunity. Here's Lantini. Um, stands the ball up to the back stick. We've misjudged the flight of the ball again. It's a great save from McCarthy. But the follow-up falls to a West Ham player, Malfintano this time fastest to react and manages to grab himself a goal. You can see more shaky defending from Suarez, misjudges the flight of the ball and then nobody else covers him or is there to react. And Malfintano is left for a tap-in, so we suffer a shock, well not really a shock defeat, it's a tough place to go, but we suffer a loss at the hands of West Ham and that sort of sparks a little bit of unrest in the squad. Jordan Mutt saying he wants to play, wants to get some more play time and he's not happy but this is a joke. Pap Suarez on the back of that performance comes to us and asks for a wage rise. Are you sure Pap? You're lucky we we're even paying you at all after that last performance but not going to hold you single handedly responsible, it's just a poor game but we're going to welcome Leicester now back at Selhurst Park. Butland is back in the sticks despite that decent performance from McCarthy. Joe Gomez getting a start, as is Munir. Um, Deli Ali as well. Berahino and Vardy starting up top together. We've changed to a 4 4 2 formation in the hope that we would get more efforts on goal um, and, and be a bit more creative, really. Uh, goals we have, is something we have struggled with this year. Um, all right, defensively, obviously. The odd game we've uh, conceded a few and leaked a few, but defensively on the whole we've been very good. The uh, least number of goals conceded in the league. So that's something we want to continue um, and, and keep doing that. So maybe it is a case of just bringing in a few more creative players in January um, and just strengthening the squad overall in terms of depth. But you can see here Leicester had a positive start, but we're going to hit them on the counter-attack. Berahino and Varney linking up really well here. And Luke Vardy, he doesn't miss those. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper against his former club. Great composure, just kind of... Slots the ball into that top corner, lifting it over Kasper Schmeichel in the sticks. And we are 1-0 up, looking um, to get back to winning ways. You did feel that one team may be on the end of a backlash for our recent form. Could Leicester be it? Vardy picks up the ball again, dances into the area, brought down. Penalty, chance to make it 2-0 inside the opening half an hour here. It's Captain Kabai, usually so reliable from the spot. And he continues to be head down, foot over the ball, and he just rifles it in to that top corner, no chance for Schmeichel, he didn't move and we have ourselves a two goal cushion so as you can see heading straight for the camera, great penalty from Kabai. And just five minutes later as well we come on the attack once more, Berahino linking up with Vardy, flicks the ball on, Vardy decides to cut back onto his right foot, is he going to have a go at goal? No, he's going to pick out captain Kabai who smashes the ball into the corner, we now lead Leicester by three goals to nil and it's been a really, really um, not, we haven't played amazingly, it's just been a clinical job, I should say. The chances we've had, we've taken. Um, which, if we could do every game and improve our finishing, we would surely smash goals in for fun. But just before half-time, Leicester are going to have the chance to get themselves level. It's Kramaric, I think. Kramaric, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Feel free to correct me in the comments. But Butland, back in the side, pulls off a super save. But into the second half we go. Really composed defending there, as you can see from Kurt Zuma. We look solid at the back, just nodding that cross from Dyer back to uh, back to Butland. And then we're going to make a change. Um, Vardy and Kabai are going to be rested. It's James MacArthur and Connor Wickham, who hasn't had uh, a great amount of first-team football this season. He's going to get the opportunity to come on. Hopefully, he can grab himself a goal. But more importantly from that, we just want to get the win. But you can see some really good link-up play from Leicester. And then how about that for a finish from Moore? Um, just really good one-touch stuff. He strikes it first time and Butland was given no chance. Look at the technique on that. Strikes it with the laces, swerving away from keeps. 
into that top corner. So Leicester, is that a consolation or are they back in the game? We're going to work it forward. It looks as though Berahino is going to go for goal. It was a really strong challenge from Robert Huth in the box. Had to be careful, but he got it spot on. But Connor Wickham threw on goal here. Chance to restore our three-goal lead. The first effort is saved. And the follow-up from Kennedy was straight down the throat of Schmeichel. But the drama wasn't done there. We're into stoppage time now. Um, really good ball through to Deli Ali here. Could he grab himself another goal? He's brought down clinically, or professionally, I should say, from Richie Delayout. Referee has little to no option but to brandish the red card. It was a professional foul, goal scoring opportunity. And unfortunately for us, we didn't make anything from the free kick. But really impressive performance to end this episode. Then Palace 3, Leicester 1, and we're back to winning ways. As you can see, just seven games remaining now. So don't forget to drop your transfer suggestions in the comments so we can make a shortlist and look to improve the squad. Obviously, we haven't got our budgets or anything yet. If we can grab a European place, you can see we've got a game in hand on Arsenal despite being eight points behind. It is unlikely, but it is still possible, so we won't give up. Chelsea are top, City are now second, Everton third, Spurs fourth, Arsenal fifth, United sixth, and then we are down there in seventh place. I say down there, we're still exceeding the expectations. They wanted the mid-table position. We've, we've been in contention for a European spot right from the off, so we're doing well. Perhaps the main surprise is when you look at the other end of the table, Stoke City rock bottom seven points adrift um, of safety so real shocker for them um, but that's going to bring this uh, episode to a close guys there's still time for a lot of things to change in the table follow me on twitter twitch like the facebook page everything like that all the links are in the description drop a like on the vid and we will see you next time